Hello internet world. In today's video I have got two very very useful products. Very useful in fact if you own one of the latest MacBook Pros or MacBooks or an Ultrabook that has a Thunderbolt 3 compatible port. And um, I've covered many of these products but these are extremely well made and I've also covered many products from CalDigit and the quality is top notch on all of the products I've reviewed from them so far and it's no different here either. What I've got for you is two of their brand new mini docks. These are Thunderbolt 3 mini docks. They offer up the full 40 gigabits per second bandwidth uh, from the port that supports that and they offer up connectivity for dual displays so very very useful docks and they're bus powered as well. Now I must just tell you very quickly that I've reviewed a lot of USB-C type docks and Thunderbolt 3 docks and a lot of them try to cram on so many ports onto bus powered docks and the power requirements just aren't there. These meet sort of power requirement guidelines which I think is about 15 watts and what that means is there's less results of uh, data corruption and problems with connecting things. Because if you try and draw too much power, then things aren't going to go too great. So these meet those requirements. And also many of these bus powered docks, uh, especially the HDMI ones, top out at 4K 30Hz. These ones, or indeed the HDMI one I've got here, and of course the DisplayPort one which I'll show you very shortly, both of them support up to 4K 60Hz dual displays. So very, very important that they support this 60Hz refresh rate. You need that, otherwise your mouse pointer is all choppy and they're just not usable. So, well, not, well they're usable, but not, not a great experience. So this is the product package in any way to the HDMI one. That's what that looks like. I'll show you the actual product very shortly. I do just want to have a look in the live chat. This is a live broadcast, of course. A big hello to Brooke Hewitt, to Netro P, Rob Pinchbeck. Hello, Rob. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, also to Gamers Unlimited UK, Aaron Stoy, and G Golden Solution. Thank you very much for tuning in. Some of you for the second time today. I really do appreciate it. Now, I always do this little bit of sort of... Um, uh, sort of uh, household work here or channel work just a bit of self-promotion please please if you are new to the Geek and Noise channel it's a great community here everyone joins in the live chat everyone joins in the comment section below if you're not watching the live broadcast and it's just a really good community feel everyone helps each other out so please if you are new hit that subscribe button that way you don't miss out on my future videos also hit the notification button and if it works then it may well notify you when I either upload a video or indeed when I go live on YouTube so anyway back to the product so these are the CalDigit Thunderbolt 3 mini docks this is the HDMI version first of all I just love the design really nice design very very cool slight sort of curve to it uh, it seems like, like a gunmetal grey it's a metal casing, so very, very nice. Plastic on the front and the back. Captive cable. Uh, so this is like a USB-C type connector, but Thunderbolt 3 compatible. Uh, and of course, up to 40 gigabits per second. On the front here, we've got gigabit Ethernet. We've also got a USB 2 and a USB 3 in the uh, sort of older legacy USB-A connections, and then two HDMI ports. Let me give you a close-up look at that so you can see all the connections. Now, really, really important to let you know this, but this actually supports 4K 60 hertz, as I said earlier, on both of those HDMI ports. Really, really important. So you can plug this in to the likes of your MacBook Pro. So I've got a MacBook Pro here that's serving up the chat for me on this live broadcast. And just with one single cable, the idea behind these is one single cable into your laptop, as long as it's Thunderbolt 3, and then you can connect all of these different uh, peripherals, so up to two monitors, uh, up to two other peripherals here, maybe you've got a printer, microphone, for example, I've got a Rode microphone up here, and then of course Ethernet, and then you connect that one cable to your laptop and you've got access to everything you've got connected into this. So not only does it extend the functionality or the limited ports that you've got on your laptop or Ultrabook, but it also offers up a really good docking solution as well. So you haven't got to fiddle about with multiple cables. And having your laptop to be portable whilst you're out and about, and then when you get back to your base, being able to connect it with one cable and access something like dual displays is a really very, very good setup. And don't forget dual external displays, you've still got the internal display on your actual uh, MacBook Pro itself. 
And then the other product is primarily the same, it's just a different version. This is the Cow Digit Mini Dock, uh, Thunderbolt 3 Mini Dock again, uh, but dual display port. So on here, it's exactly the same design. We've got the captive cable here, nice length to make it portable, uh, really good build quality again, as you'd expect. Uh, this one's a tiny bit different uh, in the fact that it's only got one USB port on it. So we've got gigabit Ethernet, a USB 3 port, and then two display ports. And I'm pretty sure that they've reduced this down to one USB port, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, because of the power requirements for the other peripherals. So I, I'm just thinking the display port must draw more power. So we've got the dual display ports on this one, and that will allow you to connect two external displays uh, to your compatible laptop, be it a MacBook Pro, MacBook, or a Windows-based PC that's got Thunderbolt 3, and run both of these external displays at 60 hertz very very cool indeed build quality is top notch let's just take a look on the side here uh, hdmi 2 4k 60 hertz i just want to check i haven't missed anything and of course both mac and windows compatible so really good products and cow digit have got fantastic customer support and after sales service as well and and fully guaranteed products of course really really nice range of products do check out the links down below i've got links to where you can pick up both of these in the video description so check that out there's also a link to the cow digit website of course so you can check out their whole range of uh, products they do storage products as well some really good raid solutions a really good range of things for creative professionals so do check those links out so anyway that is pretty much it for this particular broadcast i want to thank you all for tuning in i really do appreciate it if you've got any questions or comments at all about these two products from cow digit please do leave them in the comment section below i'll answer pretty much all of them and i want to wish you a fantastic day ahead thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it and i'll see you all in another video very soon